Okay, guys. I uh, thought I'd give you a little video to take a peek at the amount of fermentation that's going on in my mead right now. This is only, um, you can see this is 324 was when we put this down, uh, today being the 26th. Um, so this is only only two days old at this point. And yesterday I had some concerns because it was getting very slow airlock activity. And you can see today I'm getting quite a bit more. Uh, probably a one bubble about every two seconds. And I wanted to see if I could get you guys a close-up of what exactly is going on in here. I don't know if the camera will focus. And of course it will not. Oh, wait. There it goes. Okay. So you can see all those bubbles quickly rising up to the top there, building up. Uh, those are uh, CO2 bubbles, byproduct of the yeast uh, consuming the sugar, turning it into alcohol, and uh, releasing this CO2 gas as waste. Uh, this is this is the fermentation process at work, and you can see that there not only do you have these white bubbles, oh, that's a big movement there, uh, bubbles coming off of that slice of blood orange. Um, not only do you see those little white bubbles floating around in there, but you also see uh, big chunks of uh, of the actual uh, pulp, the the zest uh, from the orange floating around in here. There's a whole bunch of it right there. That's uh, that's that's how quickly things are moving around in there. The, the yeast is actually so active that it's basically stirring uh, the contents of of this jug. And actually, if you look right there, is the clove, the one singular clove that I put in there. And uh, let's see if I can get a shot from this side as well. There's a lot of raisins on this side. And you can see there all the bubbles that are built up, even that pocket right here. That is an entire, that's a large bubble full of carbon dioxide gas. And of course all that is what's, let me take the focus off here, there we go. This entire airspace inside of this, which of course once had a mixture of uh, oxygen uh, just from the room and, and whatever fermentation gases were in it. All that oxygen has been completely pushed out now. This entire uh, area in here is completely full of uh, CO2 gas, uh, which is exiting out through the airlock, pressing down on the uh, vodka that I've got filled in here. Vodka you can use as a sanitizer that way. If you put water in here, you, you do run the risk of it, of uh, bacteria or mold. Um, forming in the airlock, and at least if it's vodka, uh, it stays relatively sanitized. So CO2 gas pushes out, and because of pressure differences, the oxygen from outside can't push its way back in. So I've got a completely sealed environment there. Step back and give you, there's my uh, my firm wrap, if you will. Uh, found out it was a little bit chilly last night, so I wrapped a heating pad around it and uh, kicked it on low for a couple of hours and that seems to have bumped the temperature up enough to get the uh, the fermentation running so um, hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we'll be checking back with periodically